Hey everybody and welcome back. So, this mission uh, we're doing now is Jim Milton Rides. Again. Uh, yeah, so we're still basically in the epilogue, the first part of the epilogue. <coughs> Got a few uh, missions done last time round, so let's uh, carry on. Not lose momentum. Uh, if you guys could leave a like, leave a comment and hit that subscribe button. That would be great. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile. Oh, this is nice. Smile. Do not this embarrass is civil. me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. Pa. What the hell was that? What are, you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh, damn. Jim! They got Dickens! Over by oh. the Wow. Take it back to Hagen Dog. You boys are over. They're kind of ours. And soon enough, their ranch will be ours. No, nobody's... Who's this? The new hand? You're that tough guy that just took on. Yeah, I heard about you. Crap! You know that awful? Ah, he ain't getting up. They've killed Mr. Tolbert! And they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We I What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Now these come out. <laughs> oh, dears. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we. Uh, what have I got? Oh, a repeating shotgun. Cool. And uh, mismatched revolvers. Fair enough. Here I am. They're not very far away, are they? If, uh, if, you know, where I'm heading to, there's that collection of lights in the distance. It's not a long journey. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah. 
There's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep. Tom, you head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn? I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed. Boom. Shotgun built. That woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. Long okay, that went well. No one really left of the, uh, this farm anymore in this ranch. Again, though, I would say, I would make the argument that this is not necessarily John's fault. Mr. Milton, this man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? 
Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Yeah, sometimes you just can't win, John. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey! Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. I wonder what the telegram could be. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Okay, speak to Abigail at the house. How did Sadie find John here? Like, it's weird. Like, I don't understand how she would have heard about the ranch hands in a ranch in the middle of nowhere. Abigail! Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? 
I hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Uh, okay then. Return to work. Uh oh. Nope, 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 nope. I don't want to I don't want you to die being impaled on some horns. Uh Okay then, let's do this. He's been doing this for a few months now. Well, that's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Clearly, beards don't grow past that point. I am liking the hair, though. This is well. It, if I remember correctly, doesn't he have long hair in the first Red Dead? Like long-ish hair. It's been a while since I played it, so I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Hey, son, how's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Yeah, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Hmm. Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could... Go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name, tell him to ask me direct himself. 
You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. Well, he was young and dumb, now he's old and dumb. Oh yeah, now it's time for the actual John Marston outfit. Yeah, I need to do something about that beard. Alright, well I'm gonna go and see Sadie Adler. Nope, don't need that. Ah, oh, god, compendium. Way too much information. Map, uh... Where am I going? Yeah, alright, let's go see Sadie Adler. Cruel, cruel world must I go home. Never mind, there's more than three cruel, socks in the game. Said, just settle down. And with the moonlight as my guide, and with this feeling deep inside, I know now that I am homeward bound. Cruel, cruel world, must I go home? Cruel, cruel world, I'm moving on. I've been living too fast. I wonder if this is actually following the path. Like this, like, well, whatever, GPA, the, the highlighted path. Can't really call it GPS. Even though that's technically what it is. Hang on. Yeah, it is cool. That animal just dies. And I've been living too wrong. Cruel, cruel world, I'm gone. Oh, 
Was that like a glitch, maybe? Uh, I don't have no idea. That's a cool scene. Yeah, uh, look at that. Back in Valentine. You need to slow down. Good old Valentine. Well then, hello Sadie, where are you? Told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. John Marston! It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <laughs> well, it's legal. I'm usually. Then... Maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No. With a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Mm. My, my, how times ride. have changed. I know. Yeah. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounding like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long.
looking to sell your wares or buy some of the finest All right, there see what you can find. Like I said, the fella's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker. Bald. 45. Okay. You hit up that one. Nathan Kirk. Uh, well, yeah, let's go and check the inn. That's the best place to start. You, uh, you seen a fella? Fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Hey, well, that was uh, straightforward and easy. When in doubt, seek the hotel out. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! We gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive, though! I know! How hard could it be to find an accountant? Yeah. Yeah, for an accountant, you can ride a horse remarkably well. For a city boy. Ooh, nasty. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. Are you, are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a difference. What is wrong? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so... I'll come find you. Come on, then. So, Blackwater it is. Okay, where am I? Uh, oh, not that far. Cool. Let's go and see Ansel Atherton. No, oh, it's nice to see that Sadie's doing well. Like I mentioned in a previous uh, video, I think her and Charles are the only ones that actually get, well, out of the main group anyway. I mean, I think Tilly is fine, Pierce, and you don't know, hear about him getting killed in, in the next game, so. Well, yeah, in the first game. So, yeah, I think a few of them got off okay. But I think Charles and Sadie are the main ones that get away scot-free. Mostly, I think it's mostly because they travel quite far away. Whereas John stays in the sort of close to the area he was operating in when he was in the gang. But yeah, like, they sort of travel further afield leave. Uh, yeah. This is probably why you don't hear from them again. The 
going on? I got my Lamat revolver. What? Ah, oh, cool, I got all the guns I got. All my regular guns. Nice! What the hell are you doing? Come on, John. Get your shit together. Have they killed my horse? I'd be so pissed if they'd killed my horse. They shot my horse. Oh wait, was that a randomer? Oh, that was an innocent bystander. Oh my god, they killed my horse! What do I do with the saddle now? Oh, those bastards. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, wow. Don't tell me I have to walk all the way to black water like this. Ah, unbelievable. Alright, fair enough. Yeah. Carry on walking, I guess. I assume the game developers never actually anticipated anything like this would happen. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have been ambushed. Because I'm always ambushed at that crossing, if I remember correctly. Ooh, what's that? Is that? Are those horses I see? Yes, I think they are. Wait for it. Slowly. Slowly. Oh no, no, oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this so much, right, okay. Oh, I wanna get that, I wanna get that black one. Nah, come on there! <laughs> come on. What are you running so far away for? Just keep patting it until I'm sure. That's it. Easy. Hey now. Oh come on, no. Ah, son of a bitch. Can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Only in this game could that happen. 
My horse gets shot and I have to find another one. Oh, and he's running. He's running for it, isn't he? He is really bolting for it. Uh, great. Hello. Hey, let's give that another go, huh? Now, why'd you do that? You're not so friendly, is you? I can see the rest of this part just being me trying to capture this bloody horse. See if I can find it again. There it is. Look at you, mister. I'm gonna keep at this, you know. <laughs> please don't, please don't kill go. me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Oh! Damn. Ah. <laughs> oh, wow. God, John, you just took a hoof to the face. Takes more than that to make me go away. Ah, oh, what? I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing to get it to. Uh, yeah, this is awkward. I don't, I don't remember it being this awkward in the first game, but this is just a new level of awkwardness. Yeah. That's not very friendly. Hey. Little wary, huh? That's fine. A little. I've run across half the map I'm trying to chase down this horse. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> It's all right. <laughs> oh, stop. Whoa. Hello there. Okay. Some progress is being made. There you go. <laughs> Let's try this. Wait, wait for it. Oh, I don't understand. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. What does that say? Hold. Oh my god, this is. Oh. Yeah, I don't, don't know how I'm going to get another horse at this point. So, yeah, I'm reading the instructions, and it's less like hold L1 and move it left and right or whatever to guide the horse or some some shit. I'm like, okay. I try and do that, but I'm still getting thrown from the horse. Look at you, handsome. Oh, 
Okay, let's try again. Easy now. Alrighty then, gently does it. Relax. I ain't here to hurt you. Just try and save you. Come on! Easy! Calm down! Whoa! Whoa now! Oh, I was getting so close. Should we have a Oh my go? god. I was getting close. Ish. I don't know why I'm so determined to get this one horse. There's probably easier ones to go after. But, you know, I've tried like three or four times now, so... May as well keep at it. Right. I'll try once more and then I'll call it a day for this, uh, for this video. Look at you! Oh, come on, I just said hi and it's run off. Uh, uh, you know what? Screw it. I am going to call it a day anyway. Ah, oh, this is not how I was expecting that to go. Horse getting shot by a couple of randos at a river. But, uh, yeah, can't, uh, can't change it. Uh, right. Well, yeah, don't know what to do now. Where am I? I am close-ish to Blackwater. I'll just walk the Blackwater. Screw it. Right. I well, hope you've all enjoyed the video. Uh, in the next one, I'll be probably starting in, in Blackwater. Uh, I'll try and get a horse or something. Something. I've only got like $20 to my name. So I'm not expecting miracles. If you could leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, that would be amazing. And you can check out the rest of this walkthrough then as I release it. And if you wait for the end screen, you'll get a couple of like, suggestions of stuff for my channel that you might like to check out. For now, though, that's pretty much it. Until the next time, do look after yourself and do take care. See you all soon.